हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड लर्न अबाउट द सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन विद टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ओके सो इन केस यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट लेक्चर देन यू मस्ट विजिट दैट फर्स्ट अदरवाइज इट विल बी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस लेक्चर बिकॉज आई विल डायरेक्टली टॉक अबाउट द रिलेशन विच वी हैव डिराइव ओके सो दिस इज सिंपल टू डिग्री ऑफ फ्रीडम ओके यू कैन सी टू मासज आर देर कनेक्टेड बाय द हेल्प ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स ओके एंड दीज आर वाइब्रेटिंग इंडिपेंडेंटली so these are the force balance equation okay it means mass into acceleration of this mass m1 m1 x1 double dot is equals to minus x1 k1 plus k2 plus k2 x2 and the force balance of this mass inertial force m2 x2 double dot equals to minus x2 k3 plus k2 plus k2 x1 okay so these are the force balance equation okay so this is the vibr uh, vibrating system in which no force is applied the vibration is occurring naturally now we will talk that in case to some mass some force is applied sinusoidally this is called as uh, double degree of freedom with harmonic excitation because the force we will apply will vary sinusoidally over the mass so suppose we are choosing mass m1 okay see this is the case you can see the two degree of freedom and suppose some force is acting on mass m1 and that force equals to f not sin omega t so this force is varying sinusoidally okay so we already know that in case there is no force acting then i already told that the equation of force balance is m1 x1 double dot equals to minus x1 k1 plus k2 plus k2 x2 okay so this can also be written as in case all the expressions are taken to left hand side ultimately our equation is this okay so this is resulting to zero reason being all the forces are balanced the inertial force and spring forces are balanced so ultimately it is zero but in case some sinusoidal force is acting on mass m1 okay then this force balance equation will be equal to that because every time the forces are whatever the forces are acting on this mass okay those forces are fighting with this force okay at any instance of time so all are in equilibrium so you can take it like this also in case no force is there then this will become zero so this equation will be zero and in case force is applied then this will equal to the applied total force so this left hand side of this equation is equals to f not sin omega t okay the forces are balanced now for this second mass what is the force balance equation it will be same okay just uh, Uh, in case uh, no force is applied then our equation is this uh, m2 x2 double dot equals to minus x2 k3 plus k2 plus k2 x1 in case taking all the expression to our left hand side ultimately it equal to zero since no force is applied on this mass therefore it is just zero there will be no change with the force balance equation of mass m2 okay so these are our two equations okay now remember one thing that the force is applied to this mass m1 and it is varying sinusoidally and the frequency of varying is omega okay so in case this is the frequency of force varying force the same frequency of vibration will be attained by these masses okay so there is a mathematical proof of this thing but right now i am not discussing about that because it is not important yet i will give you a physical example suppose you are sitting inside your car and engine is started okay so it will impart vibration to the car okay so what you will feel you know human body is also a vibrating system it also consists of spring and masses you can find in books okay where human body is modeled as a vibrating system with uh, masses and springs okay so you will feel whatever the vibrations which are imparted by the engine to the car the same vibration with same frequency you will feel the same vibration is imparted to your body also this is to get the feel that the force is applied to these masses to the system sinusoidally whatever the frequency of that force is okay with the same frequency they will start vibrating okay now let us suppose that at an instance of time the displacement of this mass m1 which is given by x1 is written by this equation this is the equation of motion for any simple harmonic motion okay that is equals to capital x1 sin omega t i told you that omega will be same okay whatever the varying force omega is the same omega will be there for these masses okay so x1 is the amplitude of vibration and sin omega t omega is the frequency similarly the uh, second mass will also have its equation okay that is equals to x2 sin omega t x2 is the amplitude of second mass okay now in case these are the equation of motion okay for x1 x2 then we we can keep these equations in these two equations okay so let's keep it so in place of this x1 double dot write x1 so capital x1 is constant so x1 double dot means what double differentiation of distance with respect to time so double differentiation of this uh, sin omega t will be minus 
omega square sin omega t so over here i have written that it will be in case double differentiation of x1 so minus m1 omega square x1 sin omega t similarly uh, this x1 so it is simple x1 sin omega t i have written and for this x2 this small x2 is equals to capital x2 sin omega t i have written it is equals to f not sin omega t okay now these two equations can be kept in this equation also okay so m2 x2 double dot so double differentiation of this uh, expression with respect to time so it would be minus omega square capital x2 sin omega t so i have written over here in place of this x2 so it is minus m2 omega square x2 sin omega t and in place of this x2 this capital x2 sin omega t i have written and in place of this x1 capital x1 sin omega t i have written okay now for both these equations you can see that for this first equation you can cancel this sin omega t lhs rhs and for the second equation also since the rhs is zero so you can remove this sin omega t which is common so ultimately our equations are capital x1 minus m1 omega square plus k1 plus k2 uh, minus k2 x2 equals to f naught and capital x2 minus uh, m2 omega square plus k3 plus k2 minus k2 x1 equals to zero okay these are our two equations in case we are removing this sin omega t lhs and rhs okay now suppose this uh, minus m1 omega square plus k1 plus k2 this is the constant reason being m is constant omega is constant and k is are constant so suppose this i am taking as a okay capital or constant similarly this m2 omega square k3 plus k2 let's it, take it as b so our equation will become x1 a minus k2 x2 equals to f naught and x2 b minus k2 x1 equals to zero so this is these are the equations so x1 a minus uh, k2 x2 and uh, minus k2 x1 and plus x2 b okay so these are simultaneous equations you can see so you can find out what will be the value of x1 and x2 these are constants a k2 and b are constants for example suppose this first equation i am multiplying with k2 what i will get x1 k2 a minus k2 square x2 okay equals to k2 f naught and the second equation is multiplied with capital a so again minus k2 a x1 plus x2 a b equals to 0 okay so these are the two equations in case you are adding the two these will be cancelled you will get this x2 uh, a b minus k2 square equals to k2 f naught okay so ultimately x2 equals to k2 f naught upon x2 in the bracket a b minus k2 square now a b a i have told you a is this and b is this in case you are multiplying ultimately you will get the long long expression of x2 amplitude of second mass when uh, sinusoidal force is applied then second mass is vibrating what will the amplitude ultimately we are getting this uh, x2 equals to k2 f naught upon this entire expression m1 m2 omega to the power 4 this m1 k2 plus a3 plus m2 k1 plus k2 omega square whole bracket omega square plus k1 k2 plus k2 k3 plus k1 k3 and by the same way you know how to solve the simultaneous equations you will find x1 also x1 will be k2 plus k3 minus m2 omega square f naught upon the same expression as of x2 the expression in the denominator the same expression will be over here now what is the conclusion the conclusion is you can see that the denominator of both the equations are same which is a quadratic equation with omega square you can see this omega 4 omega square and this is a constant so ax square plus bx plus c here x square is omega square square so it is actually quadratic equation in omega square you can see this is the uh, this acting as a x square a is a m1 m2 and x square is uh, this omega 4 it means omega squares square is there similarly over here it is bx okay so x is omega square b is this and this is constant c okay so in case you are equating it with zero you will get two two values uh, of uh, frequency okay so those two values will make it zero okay so it means what that there will be two frequency at which this denominator will be zero okay when this denominator will be zero you will get x1 and x2 infinite okay that is called as condition of resonance okay so in case you are imparting the sinusoidal force with the frequency which will make it zero okay in that case it will become condition of resonance okay the amplitude will become infinitely theoretically it will become infinite okay and second thing is if you take this equation one so in place of omega if you are keeping this omega equals to k2 plus k3 by m2 root okay the numerator will be zero okay it means what x1 will be zero okay means if the omega the frequency of applied force 
is equals to this much then the m1 will not vibrate at all m1 will not vibrate at all in case this omega becomes equals to this much only m2 will vibrate what will happen whatever force which is transferred to this mass m will ultimately transfer without any motion of this m1 it will be transferred to this m2 okay so it will not move at all in that case okay so this principle is used for developing dynamic vibration absorber which i will tell in my another lecture so hope you would have understood thank you